context and config params using this context and config params what we can do we can read data in our servlets from web.xml file servlet class can read inputs from web.xml file your servlet class it can read data from web.xml file under web.xml file if you have any context data or configuration parameters data here you can configure configurations data and you can configure context data also here this context data and configuration data your servlet can read from web.xml file so which kind of data you require to supply from this web.xml file let's say if you want to connect with a database if you have a database here to connect with this database if the servlet requires driver name url username password the dynamic inputs you can pass from your web.xml file here as a configuration parameters you can put your driver url username password so these parameters your servlet can read from web.xml file using that parameters you can connect with your required database so to pass dynamic inputs to your servlets you can use this configuration parameters or context parameters so here what is the difference between configuration parameter and context parameter we know right for entire application it will create one servlet context object so if you keep anything under context it will make available the data to all the servlets if you keep anything under configuration it will make available to only one particular servlet so here you can see in case if you want to supply same parameters to all the servlets if you want to pass same parameters to all the servlets if you have number of servlets here servlet 1 servlet 2 okay for this two servlets if you want to give any data you need to keep the data under web.xml file so by reading web.xml file who will create context and configuration objects your servlet container will create right so here while configuring a servlet for a servlet if you want to give any input in between web app and web app for a servlet only if you want to pass anything so here you can configure servlet servlet name something a servlet and your servlet class class name a and for this servlet if you want to give any input that inputs you can pass by using init param in between init param and init param there is one param name attribute here you can give that attribute name key you should give okay you should give that parameter attribute name and the value your required value you should configure here as a key value pair you need to configure this param name and param values finally close servlet so here whatever the input params you are giving here <coughs> in between servlet and servlet tag whatever the input params you are giving here these input parameters it will make available to only a servlet in b servlet you can't able to get that input parameters data okay so this init parameters it will make available to only particular a servlet for b servlet if you want to give then again in b servlet you need to pass that inputs again so for b servlet also if you want to give the same again for b servlet you need to configure servlet configurations and here servlet name b for b servlet also if you want to give any data you can configure under init param param name here your required parameter key and that parameter required value you can pass here key one value one okay in this way you can pass data so this input parameters it will pass to your b servlet this is for b and this is for a so this init parameters it will make available to b servlet and this in init parameters it will make available to a servlet in case if you have any common data that data if you want to pass to a and b for all the servlets if you want to pass then you need to configure that data under there is one context tag context param under context param if you put anything param name param name and param value so here you can put your required parameter key param name and the param value you can give the value so here key one it will make available to only a servlet if it is key one it will make available to only a servlet and key two it will available to it will make available to only b servlet key one it will make available to a servlet key two it will make available to b servlet coming to this key three 
it will make available to all the surlets. So these parameters can access by your A surlet, it can access by your B surlet. Both B and A surlets, they can access context parameters, but only B can access key 2, only A can access key 1. And key 3 we have that key 3 values your A can access, B can access. Okay, so if you keep any data under context parameters, any number of surlets you can have here, those surlets can access this context parameters data, but init parameters data only accessible by your particular surlet class. Okay, <coughs> so using this input init parameters and context parameters, I'll give you an example. See, try to understand this example here. In case if you have two surlet classes a surlet and b surlet if you have two surlet classes a and b surlets if a surlet if it want to talk with database and b also if it want to talk with database same database here i have an rkl database through that rkl database a and b both they want to insert data into tables so in database there are two tables by using different schemas, I have the two tables. One table is there in system schema, one table it is if it is there in one test schema. Okay? If you have two databases. Here if you have two schemas, one database can have any number of schemas, right? Schemas in the sense simple packages. Okay? Or users. So if it is system schema, if it is system schema and if you have one more user, test user. So if there are two databases, one database if it is student, okay, one database table name if it is student, one database table name if it is course. Now here I have student registration, student registration class I have, select class and course registration also I have here. If you have student registration and course registration both, one student registration select and in the same way if you have one course registration select course registration select I want to store this student registration data into this student database and course registration data I want to store into course database okay but the database is same users are different okay this first user is something username is system and the password is manager okay system manager and I have one more user test user username and password is test and test okay so when you want to connect with this database how many drivers we required only one driver is enough, right? So only one single driver is enough here. So I can use something JDBC type 4 driver. The recommended driver is what? Type 4, right? So here I can use type 4 driver. Here I can use type 4 driver, right? So one driver is enough for these two classes. Means the same type of driver is enough for student registration servlet and as well as course registration servlet. Okay. And here the username and password, what I should supply? System and manager and from here i want to supply test and set test so here one type of username password here one type of username password you should pass but the driver is same driver so whenever you want to get same data i mean whenever you want to use same data that data if you want to pass dynamically so then from where you can pass this from context parameters you can pass this so this jdbc drivers configuration details you can pass from context parameters in web.xml file under web.xml file whatever the common data required here for your two surlets you can keep the data under in between web app and web app okay the common required data is driver so your drivers configurations you can keep under context parameters context parameter in between context param and context param there are some attribute param name there are some child tags, param name, param value, param name and param value. In between this param name and param value, you can pass your required common data, driver name, same driver I required, type 4 driver. So the driver name is what? Something rkill dot, jdbc dot, rkill driver. Your required driver name you can pass here. Okay with fully qualified name driver name one key and one value is driver name so one more parameter we need to pass url url also common right so url 
your required URL you need to pass like JDBC colon something dot dot your required URL and your required driver name these both are what context parameters if it is a context parameter it will make available context parameters to all the surlets so now these context parameters it will make available to your student surlet and as well as course surlet so here I have two context parameters one is driver and one is URL so this driver and URL it will make available to your two surlets okay now it will make available this data but coming to username password from where we need to supply username and password is different through configuration parameters you need to pass while configuring your surlet through configuration parameters pass this username password but the common data pass it from context parameters so this context parameters data you can access here and you can access the same data here also okay in two surlets you can access the same data so just one simple use case I will give you so first open two databases use Oracle database HTTP colon localhost apex <coughs> so use two databases here one default database we have system manager system password manager okay there I'll create one more database test go to administrator go to this option administrator R click here database users create user the username password what I required test 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 create so one user created so now here I have two users one is test user and one is system user so in system user I'll create one table login to system system manager in the system user create one table student table if table exist first drop the table and create new table okay drop table student first to drop the table from the database okay then create table create table student something id number name worker to email worker to create student table here okay so in system manager we have student table in system manager user we have student table log into test database there create course table log out and log into test database test and test in this test database create course table create table course course id number course name worker to okay and course fee number okay now we have two tables one table is there in system manager and one table is there in test database now create one application something simple student management or student course registration application using context parameters and configuration parameters using using context and config parameters and we have runtime tomcat 6 finish okay now how many forms we need to create we required two forms create one index.html welcome page index.html as a welcome page create and create two hyperlinks here or else using jquery you can use hide functions okay in one single form also you can create multiple forms okay a href
स्टूडेंट रजिस्ट्रेशन एंड कोर्स रजिस्ट्रेशन हियर फॉर स्टूडेंट रजिस्ट्रेशन यू नीड टू रिडायरेक्ट टू स्टूडेंट रजिस्ट्रेशन डॉट जे एस पी पेज और एच टी एम एल पेज यू सिंपल एच टी एम एल एंड फॉर कोर्स कोर्स रजिस्ट्रेशन डॉट एच टी एम एल ओके नाउ यू हैव टू क्रिएट टू पेजेस स्टूडेंट रजिस्ट्रेशन एच टी एम एल पेज एंड वी हैव टू क्रिएट वन मोर पेज कोर्स रजिस्ट्रेशन एच टी एम एल पेज क्रिएट टू पेजेस क्यू स्टूडेंट रजिस्ट्रेशन एच टी एम एल सो हियर द मेन रूट एग इज एच टी एम एल इन बिटवीन एच टी एम एल हेड हेड इन बिटवीन हेड टाइटल यू कैन कीप योर रिक्वेड टाइटल हेयर स्टूडेंट रजिस्ट्रेशन फॉर्म देन कमिंग टू बॉडी हेयर फॉर्म फॉर्म एक्शन समथिंग एस टी डी आर इज स्टूडेंट रजिस्ट्रेशन दिस एक्शन इज फॉर स्टूडेंट रजिस्ट्रेशन एंड हेयर यू कैन यूज मेथड गेट और पोस्ट and here your student registration parameters actually we have to use table here right to arrange them in a like order or else you can go through simple pre and pre id name we required email for id input type text and attribute name id for name attribute name name attribute value use name and here attribute value use email finally input type submit and value register okay this is about only simple student form simple student registration form here if you want to keep any headings you can keep headings student registration form If you require underline in between you and you, you can keep it. Okay. 